This little Skoda Fabia is an awful long way from home. It's on its holidays. Because this is the very weird and wonderful world of America. Well, we've driven from Nevada into California and we're right in the middle of the desert. We've come across a ghost town. This is the town of Calico, or what's left of it. And this is about as near as I want to get to Boot Hill. It's the local cemetery. And there's only one thing I want to do now. I want to get out of here quick. I have come across some amazing sights before but nothing compares with this. We're in the middle of a one horse town in the middle of the Californian desert. And this is the most extreme set of vehicles I have ever come across bar none. We could be on the set of Mad Max 4. Greg Parker is the man responsible for this amazing collection of vehicles. So Greg, how did it all come about? It all came about one day when a highway patrolman uh, told us to uh, make a guy's car uh, disappear because he had seven drunk driving tickets and they didn't want him back on the road. So we made one of these cars out of it and the old fella got out of jail a week later and he came in to pick up his car and uh, he walked right past it and said, nice car. And then he wanted his and we told him that the police already crushed it because uh, he had so many drunk driving tickets and uh, then he walked back past it and he said, nice car, and then he left. <laughs> and you've been doing rather mad things with vehicles ever since? Yeah, we take, uh, there's a lot of different themes that we do and uh, some of it is the, the road warrior, some of it's western, uh, some of it's futuristic. We haven't done any space stuff yet though. <laughs> The day behind the wheel of the Fabia going across America confirms one thing. Skoda really now have got the quality right on this car. It has a quality feel about it, quality touch about it. It is a first class car now, there is no doubt about it. The other big thing you realize after a very long day behind the wheel, I've done over 400 miles today, is just how comfortable the Fabia is. It really is a very, very, f it's a firm ride, but in all the right places, it gives you good support. I've got out for two stops during the drive, and apart from needing a drink, I felt totally refreshed, which is a pretty good recommendation for any car, never mind a super mini out in the wilds of America. I'm driving the 1.4 liter engine, which is my preferred choice. You do need that out in America here, and it goes really well. It's a lively engine, it's not too powerful, but there again, you don't really expect that. Handling is very good. I actually feel that this is a better handling car than the VW Polo and quite a lot of the other opposition in the super mini sector. Gearbox is slick and it is a first class drive. This is now a top notch super mini that can stand favorable comparison with any other car on the block. Well, it's been the end of a long, long day in the motoring saddle and it's confirmed two things. By what I've seen again today, America is undoubtedly the weirdest place on earth. And Skoda definitely make very, very good cars. Well, I'm now gonna do what any self-respecting cowboy will do at the end of a long day in the saddle. I'm gonna have myself a long, cool beer. Good night, partners.